blue wine or mulled wine. It's a real classic at Christmas time in the depths of winter. It'll warm you up. Very, very simple to make. We're going to show you now step by step. So the first thing we need is a decent sized pot. We're basically going to flavor this wine up. Give it lots of nice aromatic flavors. We'll start off. I've got some thyme leaves. So they're the first thing to go in. Very simply, just as they are. We're going to go in with a bay leaf which is very, very aromatic. And then this is one of the most predominant flavors. These little fellas here might look very small, star anise, very strong aniseed flavor, and they'll be very predominant in this. Now, we're using a red wine. You don't have to go overboard when you're buying this. Three, four bucks, plenty to spend on this, because what's gonna happen is all the alcohol will actually burn off, the sugar will sweeten it up. So with the strong flavorings, no point going over the top and buying an expensive bottle of wine. So in that goes. We're also going to go with our honey. Honey will give it that sort of nice mellow sweetness. Also our sugar. Really nothing better than sort of being a carol singing, lovely glass of mulled wine really will warm you to the core. In goes our raisins. They'll sweeten up and be really tasty in there. Now, this guy here, cinnamon sticks. Don't use the powdered cinnamon. Make the little bit of effort. Go and find one of these. So, so strong in smell, really tasty. So a couple of those go in. I've also got a vanilla pod, quite expensive. You're gonna pay maybe two bucks for one of these. We're just gonna split them lengthways. Not going to bother scraping the seeds out as I normally would because we're putting it in like that. The heat will make sure that those all come out. Really flavoursome, gorgeous. Now the last fellas to go in, a couple of cloves. It's probably the taste that you'd associate most with the mulled wine. Now the last two ingredients to add in there, an orange and a lemon. Now I'm going to show you, it's a little bit tricky. You might want to take your time. So just take the top and the bottom off the orange. We're going to go all the way around the outside. And what you can see is you're left with just the pulp in there. Go all the way around the outside. Making sure that there's none of the white part left. That's a little bit bitter. That's the last thing we want to go into this lovely flavoursome mulled wine. So just straight down the middle, I'm going to cut it into four. When you're serving this, what you want to do ideally, you want a nice little piece of orange in each one. Now, with the skin inside, the white bitter bit. We're going to lay it flat and get rid of that white. And what we're left with after we do this will be the zest, which is really, really flavoursome. Not bitter at all, and it'll enhance our mulled wine fantastically. So just run your knife along the back until you see orange. And just like that, what you're left with, lovely little piece of the zest. So that goes straight in as well. Now I'm going to repeat the same process with the lemon. So many fantastic flavours in here. It's going to be really, really pungent. It's going to warm you up in the depths of winter. If you're feeling sick, this is very much like a, like a hot whiskey. Same sort of principle. Perfect. Big warm glass of this up into your bed. Wrap up and you'll be better in no time. So in that goes. Same thing with a little piece of the zest. Now we're gonna cook this really, really slowly. That's the key. Just gonna pop a lid on it so none of the flavors escape. Now, lid on that. Just gonna pop that on there, get it on a low, low heat, and we're gonna cook it really, really slowly for about an hour to extract all those great flavors. On it goes really nice and slow, you're going to end up with fantastic mulled wine. So that's been slowly simmering away for about an hour now. And if I take that lid off, oh, that really is the most incredible pungent smell. It's so, so good. I cannot believe how easy that is. You're really going to enjoy this one at home. Now, the important thing is you're not just looking for the wine. Get some nice big chunky pieces of orange in there. Fish down the bottom. Get some of those lovely raisins in there thyme leaves. Oh, I can't believe your friends are going to be so happy when they taste this. Really is very, very tasty.